Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable or disable the notifications from Windows Security in Windows 10. Technically, in Windows 10 version 1703, they pretty much introduced the Windows Security that brings together common security features into one app. And pretty much, it'll pretty much tell you about critical information and health and security changes on your device, pretty much like that. Well, pretty much when 1709 came out, they enabled the ability to hide non-critical notifications or hide all notifications. So pretty much is, that's what we're going to do on the group policy options or through the registry. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So before we get into this, it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you two different options. The first one's going to be done through local group policy editor. This allows it to be done on Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, or Education. If you have Windows 10 Home, this policy will not work until you follow the instructions that we're going to be showing you how to do it through registry editor. So let's go ahead and do the first one. First thing you do is pretty much go to start. And from there, we're going to type in local group policy. I actually pretty much just typed in local group and this came out. So go ahead and select it. And you'll pretty much get the local group policy editor. Go ahead and expand it. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over a little bit. They can see the full text. Once you get to there, be sure you're underneath the computer configurations and then choose administrative templates and then go to windows components and scroll all the way down until you see windows security and then go ahead and expand it too. And then you'll see a folder called notifications. And here are the features right here for them. Pretty much to hide the non-critical notifications, it tells you more about it. Pretty much enabled, it will only see the critical information from Windows Security and will not see other types of notifications such as regular PC and device health information. So pretty much only the critical will pretty much be enabled for it. And all I do is pretty much press enabled and apply and OK. And that's pretty much for, to hide the non-critical information. Now if you want to hide all the notifications for it, so it's pretty much just the same steps and select that one to hide all notifications, press enable and pretty much local users will not see any notifications from Windows Security and you'll pretty much press apply on it. Technically, I think if you put the hide all notifications, I think it just pretty much just overwrites any changes that happens to the hide non-critical notifications. So technically, I think you can just press not configured and pretty much that will do its work right here. And if not, technically, you could also disable them by putting not configured or pressing disable and it's pretty much the exact same thing. But that's the first option is how to do it right here through the group policy. Now let's go ahead and jump to the second option which is through the registry editor. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much go to start and there's a search bar right here. Go ahead and just type in break edit and you see registry editor. Go ahead and select it and you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes and you should get something like this. Go ahead and expand it if you want to like I just did. And then you'll see different folders and pretty much right here we're seeing the hk underscore local underscore machine. We're going to go ahead and select it and expand it. From there we're going to go to software and expand that one. Then go to policies. And then go to Microsoft. And then right here you would have a folder technically if it was there. So technically we're going to have to create it. So we're going to underneath the Microsoft press right click and click a new key. And this key is going to be called Windows. Defender Security Center. So we cre pretty much created that folder right there, making sure I spelled everything correctly. A simple mistake will cause this to not work. So there's that folder. Then next we need to create another folder underneath the Windows Defender Security Center and create this key as a notification. Notifications, actually. So here it is, notifications folder. And then from that point, after creating that folder, we're going to click on the right side of it and we're going to select a new D word. Now to pretty much do the first one to disable the non-critical notifications like we did the first one underneath the group policy, you would type in disable enhanced notifications. And pretty much to do this, all you have to do is for this to work, you would pr click it and you'll press value one and press OK. And that's all you have to do for that one. Now, if you want to enable the one that has contains pretty much the, all the notifications, then you'll pretty much do the exact same steps by going to local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, create those two folders and pretty much you're in the same place. You create a new D word also like the other one. And what you're going to do is create it called disable notifications. 
try to make sure I spot everything correctly because it's a simple mistake. Notifications, and it looks correctly. Notifications, okay, looks good. And from that point, we're pretty much going to head and click it again and change this value to one. And this will pretty much do its work right there. That's how simple it is. If it does come to a point that you want to disable them, to actually to back to enable them again, it's pretty simple. You created the values to one, so technically right now, let me be sure just to verify this. Okay, so right now pretty much you have them on one right now, so everything is enabled for this to be disabled. It's hilarious on the naming scheme, so pressing the value of one. Now if you want to pretty much enable it back to normal to have the enhanced notifications, you have the option if I'm correct, you can change this value to probably zero for it, and that can work for it also. But in conclusion, you don't really need the files anymore. So all you have to do is pretty much just delete them. And then you'll pretty much just delete it also. And then the folders is an option. You can delete them too if you want to. And everything should be back to normal. Now when you do a registry, it might be a little bit different. So if you do create these policies to block it, you might need to restart the computer after it's been done. But after that, you should be good. And that's pretty much all you have to do to disable all that notification that you're getting from Windows security. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.